Ah, hello everybody, yes, welcome to an episode of Pot Boy Plays. Now today your host Pot Boy is going to be playing Ghostbusters for the Commodore 64. Yeah, this this one's uh, dedicated to the memory of um, Harold Ramis, uh, who unfortunately passed away the other day. So uh, I thought I'd play this as a little tribute. Um, yeah, now this is one game I used to love playing back in the day. So anyway, let's, let's get on with it. So I couldn't help doing that. <laughs> anyway, press F1 to start. Okay, Ghostbusters, Professional, Paranormal, Investigations and Eliminations. We're ready to believe you. To form a Ghostbusters franchise in your city, please state your name last first. Okay, um, I think most people know my last, know my full name now. <laughs> okay, do you have an account? No. In that case, Welcome to your new business. As a new franchise owner, the bank will advance you $10,000 for equipment. Use it wisely. Good luck. Okay, right, so I've got four cars, yeah? There's the compact, uh, 1963 hearse, uh, station wagon, and high performance. Uh, if you're playing the game first car, I must say, I suggest going for the uh, 1963 hearse. So let's go for that, press return. And here we go. And swap joysticks over. There we go. Right. Uh, PK energy detector. Yeah, need that. Okay, yeah. Uh, image intensifier. Need that as well. And the marshmallow sensor. Okay, right. And then do two. I need ghost bait. Um, ghost vacuum, vacuum we need. And then we need to put on as many traps as possible. Which I think is usually about three in this case. And that's it. That's the other because the other but is the portable laser confinement system which you can't afford at the moment. So, but that's pretty much all we got. All we've, but what we got there is pretty much all we need to start ghost busting. So let's E to end. Right, here you got a. Now here you got a map of uh, map of the city. Um, so the anyway, we've got a flashing building here, which means that there's a, a ghost um, invading that building. So let's go to it. And now we've got this little driving sequence here. Uh, yeah, there's no traffic to avoid in this version. Uh, but every now and then you will come across a ghost that you can come along and you can suck it up. Anyway, right, here's Slimer. So what we do is we place the trap down. Uh, pop our man there. And then we get another man as well. And then wait till Slimer's in the middle. Come on, move in there. Yay. And then move these guys in a bit closer. Yay! And I caught Slimer. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is yeah. I love that. I love the speech in this game. It's fantastic. Um, right, there's a lot of waiting hand out in this game, so let's speed up a bit. And now we've got another thing. We've got another ghost there. Oh, here he is. Yeah, get him. Yeah. So basically, the idea is that you go around, you go go and bust ghosts and things, and. Uh, and uh, basically, just, yeah, you just go around, send up the traps, stopping the ghosts. Uh, since the marshmallow man appears, uh, appears, uh, you basically, uh, if you want to get the ghost bait ready, oh poo, uh, you lay down the ghost bait and you capture him. <laughs> he signs me. Uh, speed up a bit. Okay. I've got to admit, the, the rendition of the Ghostbusters theme is very good. Um, yeah, very, very good rendition of the theme tune. And it's one of the best film, it's still one of the best film licenses. It's a really playable little game. Um, okay, um, it's, it's one of the best versions. Um, there were, of course, uh, other versions uh, available. There was obviously versions for like the entire 2600. There was the, there was one for the uh, Sinclair Spectrum as well, which I played is is a bit mm, it's a bit rubbish. Um, um, the Amstrad, there's there's a version for the Amstrad as well, which I played is pretty good. Um, but of course, uh, and of course, updated versions of this game appeared on the um, they did uh, did appear on the NES and the Master System as well. Um, I can't think of what other versions there are though. Um, 
of, uh, yeah, of this uh, exact same game. Um, but there's plenty of good Ghost Ghostbusters titles around. Um, well, um, probably one, probably my second favorite Ghostbusters game is the one that appeared on the uh, appeared on the modern consoles a few years back. Uh, the one that was on PlayStation 3 and the Xbox. Um, yeah, they, they were really they, that was a really good game. Game. I've yet to sit down and finish that one. Um, um, there was there were video games based on Ghostbusters 2 as well, which mm, I wasn't too keen on. Uh, I was. I wasn't too keen on those um, on the Ghostbusters 2 game that came out for the uh, for the uh, uh, various A and 16-bit console uh, machines. Uh, it was actually I think it was actually designed by the Oliver Twins, of all people. Yeah, um, which is quite a surprise. Um, I always found that one way too hard. Um, so uh, yeah, um, so yeah, but overall, oh, I have no empty traps. I'll go back to GHQ, which is down here. Okay. So let's let's go back to GHQ. Unfortunately, I had to go the long way around because that was the route I made. <laughs> of course, I've got yeah, three traps, and you know, you got once you've got three uh, three empty traps, uh, three full traps. Got to go back. Okay. Let's go into the building here. This brings back so many memories playing this on the real Commodore 64. Um, well, actually, we had a, actually our Commodore 64 was a 1 2 8, so, uh, um, but we had this on here and it was great. Lo absolutely loved it. Uh, we, we did have Ghostbusters 2 as well, but like I said, I'm not really a fan. Of, I wasn't really a fan of that one. Um, but yeah, this is this is great fun. The movie's awesome as well. If you haven't checked it out, where have you been? Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's it's just a sad shame that unfortunately we we uh, we've lost a great, very talented, uh, very talented actor. So, uh, um, because yeah, uh, and of course it's a great, it's a great, uh, it's it's a great film for Al. It's one of my favourite '80s films of all time. Um, I mean, who doesn't like Ghostbusters? So yeah, so overall this is a really this is a really cool little game. Hey, I got him. <laughs> oh. oh but fantastic. Um let's go to this one here now. It's literally just across the road, so uh, but of course this game is designed by uh, David Crane, who um of um who did uh, the likes of like uh, Pitfall and uh, things. And um, and this is and, and this was back when Activision did some really top quality titles. Um, titles, you know, before they started running the Call of Duty series to the ground and uh, producing. Oh, oh no empty traps. Yeah, this was before they they, they started running Call, uh, like stuff Call of Duty took them to the ground and basically producing really shitty sequels. Points at Ghosts. Hmm. Yeah, for those of you who've seen my uh, Call of Duty Ghosts review, be, yeah, you'll. Oh, per Mr. Ghost, there. You'll, yeah, you'll know that I absolutely can't stand that one. So, it's, it's, especially the PC port, that was shocking. It was awful. I don't think I, uh, I don't think I slated it enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, but this is when back when Activision were really decent. They did some really decent top quality titles. Um, oh, come on. <sighs> oh man. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, uh, let's speed this up. Okay, yeah. I'm going to play this one up to when we come, come, I'm going to play this up to when we come across the uh, come across the Marshmallow Man for the first time. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, right. At the building now. Let's take this guy. Let's take this guy down. Now, of course, there's um. Um, of course, at the end of the at the end of the game, you have to um, um, you, you basically have to um, you basically have to go into Zool, Zool, and uh, and basically get past the Marshmallow Man and deal with um, and and uh, I think I think you have to deal with Go uh, Go I can't remember. It's been a while since I've actually sat down and actually finished this game properly. Um, so anyway, let's. Yeah, things are really starting to pick up now, so we, might have a, we should have a Marshmallow Man coming up soon. 
Um, but yeah, I never actually got. But I think I think uh, when, when you actually once you've actually uh, uh, defeated them and whatnot, you actually um, um, uh, you basically get to start the game again. But you get you have a bit more money this time the next time round. So. Uh, um, um, which you can use to or better equipment and stuff and get a higher score, higher score and things. Uh, come on, get in there. Come on. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, marshmallow. Marshmallow, that. press B. It'll come to you. Hey. And. Yay, boom. May I you $2,000 for averting marshmallow catastrophe. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to leave it here. Um, this is Ghostbusters for the Commodore 64. Classic game. One of the best versions of it as well. And of course, this is in memory of uh, Howard Ramis, who passed away a few days ago. So. Um, I shall be back again soon with another video, and in the meantime, goodbye for now. Things like this, things like that. It's all good in the long run.